Oh, hey, YouTube. It's your Uranium Man here. Well, I'm coming out of semi retirement as I'm um, selling out. We'll probably add the ad bar down here somewhere. Um, I'll click on the X and get rid of it. I'll give you a minute. Okay, now that that thing's out of the way, I was contacted by uh, a representative of Sunlight to review their new LED blacklight. Now this uh, little bugger is pretty cool. What's the official name on here? It is a uh, Sunlight LED blacklight blue A19 slash LED slash 2 watt BLB. That's a mouthful. The 2 watt a 2 watt LED blacklight. You can see here it's got one little SMD LED in the top. The cool thing about this though, it is is true black light. It's true ultraviolet light. 365 nanometers. And I'll show you next in a little demonstration where I kind of compare it to a couple different other types of black lights. I have laid out before you a selection of fluorescent minerals and materials, including calcite, sodalite, wannerite, willemite, fluorite, manganese cadmium glass, Vaseline, also known as uranium glass, and tonic water. I chose these materials because of the range of absorption spectrums as well as the vibrant colors they display when they fluoresce. Now let's have a look at the American DJ BLB 7 watt. It's a 405 nanometer LED black light bulb. As you can see, we're getting a pretty good reaction from most of our minerals. The well, calcite's not doing very well, but it usually only reacts strongly under short wave. A uh, willemite, you might be able to see a little bit of green to it, but to my eyes it's mostly being drowned out by the purple light. The fluorite also might be fluorescing, but the, it fluoresces blue, so its coloration is just completely washed out by the uh, visible light from this particular bulb. Here's our sunlight 365 nanometer bulb. And as you can see, all of our mineral specimens are glowing very brightly as our glass and tonic water. You can very clearly see the green glow of the willemite as well as the incredible color change of our fluorite sample, changing from green to blue. There's very little visible light output. This is an excellent light for viewing minerals. For comparison purposes, this is our compact fluorescent bulb. Sunlight also sent this along to me. Uh, very similar results to the 365 nanometer bulb, but a little bit more visible light. Altogether, satisfactory uh, for most applications, though it does get quite a bit hotter than the LED fixtures after running for a while. One more really quick. This is one of those purple incandescent bulbs that they sell as a black light around the Halloween season. As you can see, almost nothing is glowing. The uranium glass may be a tiny bit, but there's almost no UV output from this fixture. And due to the coating on the bulb, it's going to get enormously hot. This thing is a fire hazard, not a black light. If you look between the baby-proofed bookshelf on the left and all the baby toys on the right, you'll see a blacklight poster. It's actually of some Pink Floyd artwork. I chose this piece in particular because there's a lot of blue in it, and that color can be very difficult to capture with black lights. In the interest of time, let's have a look at all four of these at once. As you can see, we end up with very similar results for our LED blacklights and our compact fluorescent, though the 405 nanometer and the compact fluorescent throw up more visible light it's really only all that noticeable with a blacklight poster if you have it against a white wall. It gets the darker colored surface, you're not going to really notice much. Now, um, there's that incandescent bulb again. That just looks awful. There's so little UV output that the blacklight poster is entirely invisible. I doubt you guys can see anything at all. So, that's Sunlight's LED blacklight blue the, uh, bulb, 2 watt version. Screws into an Edison base single LED. I imagine they're coming out with higher watt versions and versions with more of the LEDs on them for uh, larger areas. For this one, great for maybe a display of fluorescent minerals, uh, lighting up black light posters at home applications, or even um, clubs or bars could use it, over tables where they have black light elements, maybe even over a dance floor. Uh, multiple ones overlapping to create a soft, non-intrusive uh, non UV effect over everything. Uh, let's see, it's very low maintenance, almost no heat output as I look 
screw the bulb in and out, and it was about room temperature to the touch, unlike fluorescent compacts, and especially incandescents, which will burn your house down, don't use them. Uh, great for the application, and um, I have a price point, I think starting around $25, which might sound a little pricey compared to some of the alternatives out there, but it's got a lifespan of 25,000 hours. It basically means you screw this into a light socket, you flip a switch, and it'll run for almost three years before you even worry about it burning out. So, for you know, non-continuous applications, you're talking five, six, maybe ten years of life out of this before you even think about having to replace it. Uh, definitely worth it for that point. So, uh, I'm the Uranium Man. I hope you enjoyed this look at Sunlight's um, newest high-frequency UV LED bulbs. I like them. Recommend.